She was a saint, you know. I do know. And a wonderful mother. Yes. And now she's up there. I say, your mother-in-law is up there. I know. We're not going to shift her until the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Did she suffer much? All her life. She uh, never got over me marrying an American. Oh, is that what he was? <laughs> During the war, I was a G.I. bride. Oh. My mother hated them all. Said it was bad enough having to chew their gum without bearing their children. <laughs> On my wedding day, she said, Doris, this'll kill me. And sure enough, in 27 short years, off she went. <laughs> Couldn't stand him, could she? Well, you can't blame her. Not that he ever suspected. Mm. She never uttered an unkind word to him. That's true. She never spoke to me. <laughs> she was like that. I think it was the blockage that killed her in the long run. In her pipes, you mean. <laughs> well, they're really his pipes, him being the ratepayer. She had a blockage in his pipes. <laughs> you know that peculiar friend of his? Sydney. Mm. Well, whenever he came here, he'd uh, use our lav. She? Yes. And he'd always take an orange in with him to pass the time. <laughs> well, one day we got stopped up and had to call the plumber. You don't mean... I do mean, mm. when the plumber cut through the pipes, all these oranges fell out. <laughs> Unpeeled. <laughs> Didn't even skin them. Me poor mother never got over it. Dozens of jaffers down our lab. <laughs> One of them was a mandarin. Oh, it did give her a nasty turn. <laughs> well, at least it wasn't a banana. <laughs> From then on, she went downhill. Mm. Where are you going? Oh, well, I thought I might just nip out for a breath of air. Out? Tonight? Don't let him. Don't let him. My poor mother would like a breath of air, too. You don't want me to take her with me, do you? <laughs> you are not going out. Well, I could open her window. Sit down. Look, you've no consideration oh, whatsoever. No, all right, all right. Calm down. Don't get upset. He's not worth it. Now he's giving me a headache. Oh, here. Have one of my tablets. It'll calm you down. Mum! Oh! Can I go out to the disco? No, you can't. If I can't go out, you can't go out. Of course you can. Don't you tell the child what she can't do. Your gran would want you to enjoy yourself, love. Have a nice time. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been very nice. It's a pity we can't do it more often. Oh. <laughs> Are you going off? Yes, but I'll be here for the next one. Bye-bye. Oh. <laughs> oh. Aren't you going to bid your last farewell to Mother? Oh, yes. Bye-bye, Mrs. Uh... <laughs> no, that's not right, is it? <laughs> I'm a bit confused. It's the, it's the port. <laughs> this way. Sissy, do you want to come too, or would you rather stay with him? Oh. No, I like a bit of life. <laughs> I'll come with you. Harry! Noah! Hello, it's me. I can see it's you. <laughs> bit early for Christmas. <laughs> Christmas? That's not a... <laughs> That's not a Christmas wreath. That... Don't take your coat off. What are you doing here anyway? Well, you didn't turn up, so I came to get you. Get me? Yeah. It's talent night at the Dirty Dash and we're supposed to do our imitation. Well, you'll just have to manage on your own. I have decided to remain here. <laughs> you mean your wife won't let you? My wife has nothing to do with it. The old lady is dead. Dead? That's what I said. When did she pop off? At eight o'clock this morning. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Certainly I'm sure. Well, if she's dead, why can't you come down to the dirty dashund? I mean, she can't stop you, can she? Who can't? 
Your old woman. My old woman? It's nearly 12 hours since she died. There's no sense in grieving all your life. <laughs> I didn't say my old woman. I said the old woman. <laughs> oh. Well, you can't have everything. What? Half a loaf is better than having your cake and, and not being able to eat it. <laughs> On account of the nearer the bone, the... <laughs> The sweeter the tune played on an old fiddle. <laughs> Are you sure it isn't your wife who died? Mm. <laughs> well, why don't you try and sneak out? Mm. Or tell her you were with me. And then she'll know you're not going to get into any trouble. <laughs> Why don't you do that? <laughs> Why do you shove oranges down our lavatory? <laughs> Who told you? The plumber told me. <laughs> hmm. Do you know we had to cut through two pipes to get at those oranges? Are you fond of them? <laughs> Why do you stick them down there? Well, because I don't like oranges and I get upset if I have to eat them. So you just stick them down our WC? Sure. If you don't like them, why do you buy them? What do you expect me to do, starve to death? <laughs> A man's got some rights, got to keep body and legs together. It's coming to something if I can't buy some oranges. It's a free country. Now that <laughs> will do. And put those down. It's a shame you can't come down to the dirty dash hunt. We might have won a prize. And then you could have bought your wife a nice wreath. And they've got that striptease lady with the tassels. Oh, you mean titillating Thora? <laughs> I don't see why not if she's in a good humor. <laughs> and if you're in the show, you can get a side view. Do you know I've only ever seen them from the front? <laughs> well, I can't do the impersonation on my own. And there's many a true word spoken in jest. What has that got to do? Don't play with that. That is for my wife to calm her knives and give her a good night's sleep. How many is she going to have? Just the one. How many night's sleep do people usually have? <laughs> anyway, it's none of your business. You know, if she made a mistake and took too many of those pills, I wouldn't be surprised if you could sneak down to the dirty dash hunt and she didn't get to hear about it. You ought to tell her to be more careful. These pills don't even belong to me. Say that again. <laughs> well, if you took too many of those pills, your wife could sneak off down to the dirty tassel and swing her wreath and win a dash hunt. <laughs> That's a very good idea. What is? <laughs> what are you doing? Well, where's the harm? After all, she'll get a good night's sleep, and we might win a prize. <laughs> and one for the pot. <laughs> well, if you can't go, then you can't go. Come back here. Wait a minute. Listen, you meet me outside in an hour, and be sure to have your costume on. You mean that you should... Well, you for letting me see her. Oh, she did look so lovely lying there. I've never seen your mother looking so well. Yes, those two, <laughs> those two weeks in Blackpool did her the world of good. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, bye bye. Mm. What's he doing here? He's your husband. <laughs> Sidney heard of our sad bereavement, Precious, and he came to pay his respects. Oh. Do you want to see the remains? The remains of what? Oh. <laughs> Never mind, love. Come on. Come and sit down. Calm yourself. Have one of these pills. Hey, that's funny. I know. I'll put it down there somewhere. The remains of what? Now, here you are. Put it in your port wine. It'll take the taste away. <laughs> Nothing will make me sleep tonight. You want a bet? <laughs> you better have a couple then. Uh, uh, PG Kins, I don't... Don't interrupt me when I'm silent. <laughs> I don't know. I think I've had too much port wine already. Well, I wouldn't drink it anyway. Oh, you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> so
So what? <laughs> so, I'll see you later. What did he mean, he'll see you later? Oh, nothing, Lambykins. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Sneak out when I'm fast asleep, don't you? Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I'm going to lock and bolt the front door, and then I'm going to put the key in a place where you'd never dream of looking for it. Down the front of my nightie. <laughs> <laughs> a ladder around the back. <laughs> hey, I've got it. Against the wall. You get a longer one. Well, you didn't tell me what you wanted it for. <laughs> I suppose I'll have to manage. <laughs> you didn't tell him what I wanted it for. <laughs> If you want me to, it won't be necessary. It's no bother. You just have to tell me and I'll do it. A nod's as good as a nod to a sow's ear. such a fool of myself. There's no fool like a fool in need. 
Do you think we'll win a prize? Why, certainly we'll win a prize. What's more, the winner always gets a kiss from titillating Thora. <laughs> we might even get to find out how she makes the tassels go in different directions. <laughs> <laughs> Centrifugal force. Why, sure, if she won't tell us. <laughs> oh, boy, are we gonna have fun. And nobody any the wiser. dropped our handbag. Hey, why don't we stop and help her to pick it up? That's a very charitable idea. May we offer you a lift, ma'am? Thank you. <laughs> Is it all right for me to drink while you're driving? <laughs> I'm sure I'm taking you, gentlemen, miles out of your way. Yes, you certainly Why, are. Why, Fish? <coughs> We're only too delighted to be of service. Hey, what about titillating Thora? Actually, my name's Edwina, and let's wait until we get home. <laughs> <laughs> What's the time? Half past eight. I think it's come on to rain. <laughs> hey! Who were who? Oh, don't do that. Mm. <sighs> You'll uh, forgive us if we don't see you to the door, but my friend and me, we have a very pressing engagement. You're going to come upstairs with me and have a drink. No, we really can't. You see, you we... don't like me. Of course we like you, don't we, Sydney? Well, I've been thinking about that, and Belt I... Belt up! <laughs> Listen, fatty. <laughs> Are you two coming up with me to have a drink, or do I have to make it? Well, if that's your tone, nothing in the wide world would persuade me. And that goes for him, too. Hmm. <laughs> us do what you want us to? Hmm. Hmm. Ah! <laughs> all right, all right, all right, we'll come. <laughs> Just one little drink, that's all. You're a sport. <laughs> Wait to get my clothes off. Oh. <laughs> Make yourselves at home while I slip into something more comfortable. Does she mean an armchair? <laughs> No, she does not mean an armchair. This is another fine mess you've gotten me into. Well, there's nothing to keep us here. I mean, she's out there, and we're here, and we could be in Scotland. You know that's the most sensible thing you said all evening? Come on, let's sneak out. <laughs> I wonder how she knew. Maybe she's septic. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, who do you think he might be? Well, he's her father. Who do you think he is, her mother? <laughs> what do you think he'd say if he knew we'd brought her home? Why, his gratitude would know no bounds. Do you think he might give us something? <laughs> like a shot. <laughs> hey, maybe we ought to leave him a note and say that she has dizzy spells. In fact, she's the dizziest Why thing. Why you pour us all a drink? Oh. And uh, turn on the fire. It's cold in here. I'll pour the drinks. You might spill them. Light the fire. Have you got a match? No, I don't. Try the table. Have you got a match? <laughs> hey, it's a nice place she's got here. Hey, put that down. Don't you know these things are expensive? I'll light the fire. You get some soda for the drinks. drown it. <laughs> Did I drown it? <laughs> there. That should warm the place up a bit. <laughs> That's an electric fire. <laughs> Why did, why did you light it? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Get some water, get some water. That's ice. Well, the fire will melt it. Get some melted water. Hello, darling. Oh. Oh. What's going on in there? <laughs> oh, oh, get, get, get a cloth, get a cloth to smother the flames with. Get a not cloth, I said a cloth. What? something that doesn't cause any damage. A simple rug would have done like this when what's the... <laughs> now see what you've done. <laughs> by making excuses. Where are you going now? To the <laughs> Give me that. Haven't you caused enough damage already? You tidy the place up. I'll take the orange to the lavatory. <laughs> what am I doing? Excuse me, wrong flat. <laughs> I do live here. And who the devil are you, sir? Shh, shh. We're just tidying the place up so that she won't realize anything's happened. Would you like to help? What, what kind of a bomb was it? Was my, was my wife killed? Oh, we haven't seen her. 
But your daughter's in there with Harry. My daughter? Yeah, he's keeping her busy. <laughs> what are you doing in here? You may as well know that I am not the sort of woman who indulges in improper behaviour on 30 minutes' acquaintance. You will have to wait another half hour. <laughs> and what was that noise? Oh, uh, my friend was just admiring your grand piano when the leg came off in his hand. <laughs> He's putting it back. Ah, is that all? For a moment I thought it was my husband. <laughs> oh, why does his leg come off in your hand too? <laughs> Oh, shooting yeah. grouse. <laughs> That's why I'm celebrating. Mm. You boys picked up the right girl tonight because I'm ready for anything. <laughs> if the bald-headed old coot could only see me now. <laughs> Have a few drinks and enjoy ourselves. Well, I won't say no. You know, I had a bit of good luck today, too, myself. <laughs> the old mother-in-law snuffed it. Oh, really? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you knew her, did you? <laughs> she knew her. Stay away. There's only another three floors to search. When I wake up, I'll kill him. Yes, I should. It'll cheer the up for the funeral. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Have you seen to... You! <laughs> Come now, sir. You wouldn't shoot a man with his hands full, would you? Ah! It's a wife! It's a wife! <laughs> oh. That's the second time he shot that lion. Oh. <laughs> Get away from me, sir. There's only one way out of there, and it's the window. <laughs> and it's six floors up. <laughs> oh, my God! Listen. <laughs> now we've got two minutes to get out of here. Let's go. Don't you think we ought to stay behind and clear up the mess? Listen, if we're still here when he gets back, we'll be part of it. Now, let's go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, it just serves you right. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh.